Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this beautiful 3D stroke logo reveal animation without the use of any external plugin in Adobe After Effects. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition. Feel free to choose your own name. The resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. And I'm going to make the entire duration of the composition to 10 seconds. Then hit OK. So now let's import our logo. We can double click on this project manager window to import the logo. Or you can simply navigate to where you have your logo saved. Click and drag it into the project manager window. We're going to set this to footage, then hit OK. Then drag and drop it into your timeline. We're going to have this. Feel free to use any logo of your choice. Then you go to layer, auto trace, and then select. Make sure you check apply to new layer if you don't have that checked. And then you can pause the screen to see my settings. Then you hit Okay, we're going to add a stroke effect to this layer. Now we're going to come here, select all mask, and then uncheck this stroke sequentially. We can now say reveal the original on the paint style, then change the color. I'm going to set the thickness here to 8.5. And I'm going to set the brush hardness to 95. I'll move my time indicator to 6 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the end. Then I'll move my time indicator to 0 and I'll change the value of this end to 0. Hide this bottom layer so that I can see what I am doing. Scrub now you see that the entire painting is beginning from the base of the logo so i want my animation to start at this point here so your logo may be different so i'm going to set this painting to start from this point so what i'm going to do is to check this so that i can see my mask parts then i'm going to select this particular area you can pull in to see that select this right click go to mask and shape part then set fixed vortex so we're going to choose this set first vortex and it's going to start painting from that point we're going to add a fill color that is a fill effect then we're going to set the fill color to this logo color now we're going to pre-compose this Control shift c to do that. Move all attributes to the new composition and name these the strokes. Then you hit OK. I'm also going to pre-compose this final, uh, this first logo we imported. I'm going to Control shift c to do that and name this final logo and then hit OK. Temporarily, I'm going to hide this. Then you select both layers and make them 3D. Select the stroke layer, hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. So I'm going to select this and then go to separate dimension. So I'm going to go to the Z. I'll hit, I'll hold down the Alt key or Option key if you are using Mac and click. That is going to open the expression window. Then tap in this expression index. Then click out. This expression is going to help us offset the layer each time we duplicate it by one point on the Z axis. So I'm going to control D 20 times to duplicate this 20 times. We can still not see the 3D effect. So select the topmost layer, then right click on your timeline, then add a new camera. I'm going to set this to 35 mm and then hit OK. Then Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new null object. Call this camera control. Make it a 3D layer, then select the camera and make it a child of this camera controller. Hit R to reveal the rotation property and I'm going to rotate this on 
on the X. Now I'm going to expand the camera property and go to camera options. I'm going to zoom this inward so that I can see it very well. So to keep everything good, so I'm going to still go down here, select this stroke layer, then I'll add a fill on it. Then we can change the color. We can change the color to a brighter blue. Then hit OK. So I'm going to go to the bottom right here, select this, right click on the timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. This is going to be our BG and then hit OK. Then we're going to add the ramp effect to this. That is the gradient ramp. I'm going to set this to the blue color right here. I'm going to set this to the deeper blue. I'll still go into this to select a darker option. So scroll down to the last duplicated copy right here. I'm going to copy the fill color on the first layer right here. I'll select that. Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy. Then I'm going to move to the bottom high right key. That is the last layer right here and paste that to this. So I'm going to go into this and set it to a darker blue. I'm going to use this to create a shadow. Let's add the CC radial fast blur. I'm going to leave this like this. You can see it already gave us some shadow. So I'm going to duplicate this CC radial fast blur. So I'm going to set this amount to 85. I'm going to change the zoom to brightest. And I'm going to select this and move it to the, to the right. That way I have my shadows like this. I'm going to drop this amount to 60. Beautiful. This is OK. So now let's animate the camera movement. So I'm going to move my time indicator to about 6 seconds forward in time. I'm going to set a keyframe for this rotation Z and rotation X. Then I'll also set a keyframe for the zoom on the camera options. So, but I'm going to pull this in further than 4000. Feel free to use whatever you like, but I'm going to pull into this amount. Then I'm going to come back to zero. I will set the zoom to 1250. I'm going to set the Z value to negative 45. And I'll also create another keyframe for this rotation right here. But I need to move to the last keyframe and set the rotation for the X to 0. We're going to go to the bottom right here. This final logo, we're going to move it to the top. Then we're going to make it visible. So what we're going to do at this point right here is to set a keyframe for the opacity. Hit T to reveal the opacity property. Then you move a bit forward right here and set the opacity value to zero. Then what I'm going to do at this point right here, I'll select all the stroke layer. Then hit T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity and set a keyframe for this. So I'm going to move in a bit. And set the opacity value to zero. So if you preview the entire thing now, this is what you have. A beautiful 3D stroke logo reveal animation without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios